Coach, when people ask you where you're from, what, what city do you tell them? Palmetto. Palmetto. Play high school ball in Bradenton. But I'm from Palmetto. Other than your family, when, when you come back here, is there anywhere you got to go? Is there like a certain friend's house you got to go by or anything? Um, I always go by um, um, an apartment complex that I grew up in. You know, I always ride through there, and, and whenever I have my kids with me, I always uh, drive them through there as well. You know, that's it's always important to me just to go back and remember where I grew up. Um, the tree is still there that I used to go sit under and, and fantasize under. and. It's still standing, and um, I keep a picture in my phone, just reminding me where it started um, in Old Woods' apartment. What do you fantasize about? Um, being successful, being rich. I wanted to be successful and be in a position where I can look out for my family one day. And, um, I thought it would be football playing, and um, it was football, but it, it was coaches. You know. Did you ever imagine this for your, your son? No, I asked him the same thing. I never did. I think from a child on the way up made him into a man. You know, he always was on the right path. So I think that's what really made him a man, watching and learning and doing a thing and determined. He's a great guy. You know, as far as him coaching, uh, coaching has nothing to do with what kind of man he is, what kind of father he is, what kind of person he is, what kind of friend he is, and that's what I respect about the most. What point did you realize you wanted to be a coach? I know it was like around my junior year in college. I, mean, I can remember um, sitting in, in um, a meeting with, with Jack Harbaugh, and, and him and I used to meet together a lot, and, and I learned so much football under him, understanding how football works from offensive line play to tight end and how you're supposed to step with a certain foot or not. And, 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 and again, for me, learning football and how he put it into in the contents the way you can learn it, it was, it was like, like, wow, you know? And it's like, man, I, I want to be able to do this one day. And like I say, how he helped change my life and just how I thought about things is, like I got a chance to help someone else out. At first, I thought I wanted to be a high school coach, and um, um, I remember you know, my my high school coach Turner. He said, "If you got a chance to stay in college, stay there." <laughs> you know, and um, and I listened, and um, it worked out well for me. Can you remember the first time you kind of thought to yourself, "Wow, like Willie's really going to do something big when it comes to coaching"? You know what? I sit in my living room and I say, "Wow, that's my baby." I sit there and I said, that's my baby. This is my baby. I see him on TV. Wow, there goes my baby. <laughs> so what is it like coming back to this area as a head coach at this um, it's, it's great. Um, <laughs> I mean, just, um, I think for me personally, growing up and understanding uh, um, how much people love Florida State football around here. Uh, um, and now to come back and you're representing the football program as the head football coaches. It's big time, you know, and it's, and it's it's big for me. Just again, as being a fan growing up as a kid, and and now being able to fulfill the dream, it's it's, it's it's huge. And to come back home, where I know there's a lot of kids that was just like me, and, and, and have dreams just like I did, and, and hopefully um, one day to inspire them. I think what he's going to do is he's bringing that swag back to Florida State. You know, I went to the practice, it was upbeat tempo. The kids were not only flying around, but they was dancing and having fun. And I think when you have a coach like that who can relate to the kids and the kids can look up to and love to play for, that's what you want.